During President Trump's visit here yesterday, he talked about seeing old factories in Youngstown and envisioning a day that new ones would take their place. Today, I followed up with businesses about how realistic is Trump's promise of jobs returning to the Mahoning Valley. Jobs is the word that comes up often from politicians. Most Americans want to work. Job openings are available. Claudia Kovach of the Mahoning Valley Manufacturing Coalition believes the Youngstown area has enough apprenticeships and workforce development programs. She wishes there were more people who would skip college. And we need to show the world that with a little sweat on our brow and working with our hands, we can bring good jobs and growth back to Youngstown and our country. Dave Johnson believes the workforce is here in the Mahoning Valley. He's the CEO of Summitville Tiles in Columbiana County. He watched Congress pass a silica rule, which orders a 50% reduction in the amount which is allowed in the air at a factory. I can tell you my own company has been a victim of many of these regulations that are onerous and that, that no one has even thought through, no one has ever been to my factory to see the impact that it would have. Dave says it would cost his company a million dollars to comply if it goes into effect later this year. He talked to President Trump about it last night. The president has talked about changing trade deals, enforcing trade laws, and creating a level playing field. The U.S. has won three steel cases this year, according to Senator Portman. He's visited steel companies who feel brighter days could be just right around the corner. If we can get tax reform done and the infrastructure bill going, that that will create a lot more markets for them, and they'll add more jobs in Ohio and begin to, if not build new plants, at least fill the existing plants. Now the businesses also feel grouping these things together would create a stronger economy, which would also boost business.